Alice and welcome back to Art at Heart. My name's Brianna and if you're new here, this is a crafting and DIY channel. And today we're going to be making this little feller. I got him from Marshalls for about two dollars, but he was plain white and boring. So I gave him a little pizzazz, a little personality by adding some black ceramic paint. So I'll be showing you how to embellish him a little bit. This is what the little guy looked like when I bought him from Marshalls. No designs or detailing at all. So we're gonna go ahead and add some pizzazz as I stated earlier. First off, I wanna apologize for my poor video recording skills for this section. I fixed it later. Um, I tried my best to make it better in editing. So essentially you're gonna start out by drawing a semicircle and surrounding that semicircle with little triangles. Once you have completed going all the way around the semicircle with triangles, you are going to make little tiny circles in between, or I guess half circles in between the triangles. And you wanna give it about three surrounding lines. After you have finished that, you are going to add little dots in between the parts you just finished painting. Next, we are going to surround those dots that we just made with triangles. And we are going to be adding larger triangle. Whoa, I can't speak. Larger triangles in between the small triangles that we just made surrounding the dots. I just gotta say, he's already looking pretty cute. Okay, so next we are going to add little lines in between those triangles to kind of give it a sun ray vibe. Now, fabulous Hardis, we are going to add a little circle at the end of each line. Now, don't fill that in. We just want the outline. I'm gonna do my best to describe this, but I'm not really sure how. So next you're just gonna add a whole bunch of little like half and semi circles around your original circle until they all connect with each other, forming a whole bunch of circles that almost look scale-like. So I went ahead and skipped almost to the end of that little section that we were painting just because you didn't really need to see the whole process. It would have just been boring for you guys. Um, so essentially I'm just going to finish up the two ends here. And now to adding some more, yeah, you guessed it, triangles. So I would highly, highly recommend to have baby wipes sitting next to you because often you're gonna make lots of mistakes, especially because this paint was hella old. And so it wasn't as runny as it should have been. And so it was a little difficult to work with. Um, and it wipes off pretty easily. Anyway, back to the instructions. You will wanna go all the way around the circle thingies with your triangles. Now that we have all the triangles completed, we are gonna add three little dots in between the triangles. Starting with a tiny little circle, 
then a medium sized circle, and then the biggest circle of the three. The little feller's feet are starting to look real plain in comparison to his body. We are going to add two little stripes onto each foot. I tried a couple different thicknesses for the two lines on his feet and I ended up going with kind of a medium thickness because any thicker than this it looked a little strange and any thinner it just didn't seem like enough. Now we are going to the llama's neck and going to work up to his head. We are going to add some lines to the neck like we did the feet to tie in the design. I decided to go with three lines, but you can go with more or less, whatever your heart desires. You need to make sure your lines are even all the way around your llama. Next, I add some triangles on the top of those three lines. I alternated going big triangle, little triangle, big triangle, little triangle, and so on. You get it. <laughs> And of course, I had to add some little dots in between those cute little triangles. And we're going to add a top line to enclose those triangles and those little tiny dots. Now to giving the llama a face, or specifically, some eyes. We're gonna just paint those black. And of course, we can't just leave his face plain, so we are going to add triangles surrounding his eye. Onto my little dude's forehead, make a V-shape that flares out at the end. Next, we're gonna give him a little eyebrow line. Well, it's not exactly an eyebrow line, but it's roughly where an eyebrow line would be. And a line under his eye like such. Beneath the under eye line, I added some dots, as well as giving him a little smile. I decided to color in his ears with a little bit of black paint. I felt like the back of the llama's head needed a little something something, so I decided to add a little stripe just in the back. Something simple, but yet adding a little bit of detail. I just wanted to mention for those of you out there, I'm only showing you how to do one side, just because the other side is the exact same. For that reason, I wanted to show you how to transfer those lines all around evenly. Now we're going to move on to the stomach. I added a little diamond shape and gave it a pretty thick outline. Here my watch decided to make an appearance. Uh, next you add a little diamond inside and then add some little tiny dots going all around the diamond.
here is the super cute finished product. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us some thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, this is Brianna, signing off.